It's very hard to get yourself recognized early in your career. Um, and this kind of award, you know, when you're trying to get a, your first tenure track job or your first NIH grant, it, it is really something that can distinguish you. The talent is just exceptional every single year. We're just trying to pick one that just blows everybody away. And this year's winner in physical sciences, in my opinion, was such a candidate. The spark occurred when I first met my mentor. The experience of the actual performance of mathematics was comparable to listening to Chopin for the first time. The first time I heard about black holes, somebody told me that a black hole was a thing where all of the matter from a star was concentrated at a single point in space. And that sounded obviously ridiculous to me. I was 12, and I was, I was keen to learn more about it. When I was an undergrad, I was studying these nanomaterials. I actually found there were four distinct liquid phases. It was very surprising to us. And I found that discovery to be more satisfying than anything I had done before that. Optics is an important field uh, for uh, everyday lives. For example, the backbone of the internet is built upon optical communications. Doctors will make, uh, use uh, optical imaging techniques to uh, diagnose diseases, and also light-emitting diodes and the solar cells, they all uh, rely on optics. So in my work, I rely on both experiments and the theory, including simulations and analytics. And I think that uh, really helps me to gain a more complete perspective of how things work. When light propagates through a complex medium, it gets scattered multiple times, and the information appears to be lost. We try to unscramble that process and retrieve the lost information. This can enable imaging techniques uh, to see deeper and, for example, allow doctors to make uh, better diagnostics. The Blavonic Award is a very valuable recognition for the work that my colleagues and I have done. This award may uh, help me uh, as I now start to look for faculty positions and then uh, potentially in the future to uh, attract grants and students. The Blavatnik Award, I think, is very meaningful, especially for people who are working in sort of abstract areas, like in high-energy theoretical physics. It's tremendously important to every once in a while get encouragement like this, that people outside our field care about what we're doing. Many times the work that we do feels a little bit disconnected from the rest of the world, and abstract, and it's very nice to have something that ties it back to the rest of society. Optimistically, I'd like to understand the solution to the black hole information problem. This is the question of what happens to information that falls into a black hole. How does it get out of the black hole? This is a, a big problem in high-energy theoretical physics, but I hope that in the somewhat near future we'll understand that. The whole community of theoretical physicists, I sort of think of it like we're all working on some kind of a big crossword puzzle, and um, different people are working in different areas, and um, success is when you, you learn something new, it's like you put a new clue, you know, put a new answer in the crossword puzzle. So mathematics is somewhere in between art and science. And as a person who is closer to the artistic side of mathematics, it is very meaningful to know that the society recognizes what we are doing. It is a huge honor to receive the award from the Blavatnik Family Foundation. I build spaces from combinatorial objects and study geometry of the constructed spaces to extract information hidden in the original combinatorial structures. My ultimate goal is to narrow the gap between two primary modes of mathematical reasoning, the discrete and the continuous to the point where the two are no longer distinguishable. My career goal is to uncover this underlying unity between these different ways of doing mathematics. I do believe that what we are doing 
will have a positive effect to the society as a whole in the long term, just in the way that other forms of art and pursuit of beauty and structures has a positive effect on the progress of humanity. This year's winner um, is probably the odds-on favorite if you asked the experts in the field who do you think might prove the Hodge conjecture. So that would be really, truly exciting.